coming out of here on the run over to the... No. Because that bend seems like it'd be really easy to hit a bump and upset the front end. I never, yeah, you're right, I never yeah. give it any there. The only time I'll scramble it coming out of... Talladega. Coming out of Talladega, yep. As it straightens out there. Mm -hmm. And then um, going back towards... What is that? What's the... Uh, there's like the... I think you call it West Bend, and then there's the uh, Magic Mountain Hill. After Magic Mountain, down to if the, you go yeah, down, yeah, make yeah. the left. As soon as you make that left, and the car is straight, yeah, right there. Do you scramble through the S's? No, okay. no fucking way. Can you start it? Yeah, you can start it, Jeff. awesome. It was a uh, type of traction balance I've never felt before. It was so hard to keep those things hooked up, but it was a blast while you're doing it. It had permagrain in the helmet. It's kind of a unique animal, man. It's uh, it's always going to have trouble putting power down just because it's got so much of it. So I think that the road he's going with it to make it free up and carry well on the entry is a good way to go. Uh, for me, it's just getting used to it, man. It's, uh, it's a different animal to drive, but it's a blast. After uh, a long season and stuff, I get the word from the boss that I get to actually go drive the car that I built for him. Pretty excited about that. It'll be a, a very good thing because I'm almost driven every car that I've built and this is the only one that would be a little bit more than just taking it in and out of the shop and in and out of the trailer. So pretty excited, pretty nervous, but it's going to be the most badass thing I've ever driven. The only other requirement is, is that you wear an open face helmet for us so we can see the, <laughs> the look on that mode. <laughs> Feels good. Feels like a pro. A seasoned veteran. Hey, you guys better be eating ice cream when I come back. Yep. Oh, good. Iron hole.
I guarantee you he's, he's, he's gonna have a lot of fun right now. He built that car with his own hands, lots of hours in it. He's got probably the most experience touching the goddamn thing that any of us on our team has, so I'm pretty sure he's gonna have a blast out there. Okay. It's, it's good, we're all happy to see him. Place your bets. Is this car flying off the track? <laughs> Place your bets. I said off the track. Off the track? I don't Probably want to see off it off the track. The track. What is, what's your call? I At least two wheels. Off track. I'm saying all four off. The track. That was the most fun I've ever had. It took the first, the first lap was just us feeling it, and I can I can see the line by watching where all the the tire marks of everyone's pass, and so it didn't take me much to figure it out. And after the first lap, then I was like, okay, well I can start stepping it up. So I'm starting to take things faster and faster and faster, and I felt comfortable. I could feel what the car is doing. So everything that I see out on the track when I watch Chris run, I'm actually feeling it myself. It was actually a lot of fun because I actually was pushing myself harder and harder. Half the cars you build, you only get to move them in and out of the shop, in and out of the trailer. And for this time to actually go out on track with other guys competing, and I know that, you know, I'm not a racer, but in the same sense, I got to have enough chance to be out there and run with those guys. And um, it actually felt good. And then to know that actually the car that I built, to actually feel what it feels like, feel the horsepower going under there, feel the suspension, all the stuff, it's, uh, it means a lot.